So when you're in need of hiring a digital marketing agency, the one piece of advice that I can give you is don't go cheap with it. All right, I understand that marketing and advertising it gets expensive, right? And when you hire the right agency, and sometimes even when you don't, you spend a lot of money without necessarily knowing if there's anything that's gonna actually happen. If there's sometimes not anything that's truly guaranteed because it's marketing. So I understand the thought that you want to go super, super cheap with it because you have a fear of getting burned. You've been burned in the past. We hear this multiple times a day. You don't know who you can trust. You don't know what makes sense. You just don't know, right? So the adverse thought process would be, okay, I'm just gonna go super, super cheap with it because if and when I get burned, and if this doesn't work out, if, 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 at least I didn't lose a whole bunch of money. Well, the people that have that mindset and consistently go and do that time and time again are usually the ones that get burned and taken advantage of time and time again. Now, of course, you're gonna have some of the expensive companies that are out there that are gonna take your money and not do anything with it. You've seen that unfortunately be true, but most of the time, when people are spending a pretty significant amount of money, when they're paying what the agency is worth, you tend to not see people get ripped off. You tend to see some pretty decent results. And I'm not just talking about working with high digital, I'm talking about working with other marketing companies as well. But almost every single time, about nine times out of 10, when I see companies that come over to us, hey, I pay in a couple hundred bucks a month for SEO, this includes the website, or they, you know, you know, actually own the website, they own the ad accounts, all those things. The reason why there's a very, very low upfront or no upfront cost, plus a very, very low monthly fee. And I'm talking a monthly fee under $1,000 for multiple services or under $1,000 for SEO. When you see those types of numbers, there's usually something hidden. And, and that could be that you don't actually own the website and all of its assets. So that's a pretty big aspect where you're basically just paying to rent your website that's out there. We've talked about that in previ previous videos. The other aspect is that there's just not a whole lot of work getting done, which don't necessarily want that as a paying client. The other aspect is could be that the owner in and of itself is the one that you're talking to and pretty much doing all of the work behind the scenes. Not a huge issue or problem, at least the work is getting done, you're talking to the owner, there's probably you know some realistic expectations being set. But if anything happens to that owner, if the owner takes on too many clients, if the owner's out sick, if the owner takes vacation, your account isn't getting touched. So obviously that's not a whole lot of fun either because you're 100% dependent. You didn't hire an agency, you hired a freelancer that just so happens to own an agency. The other aspect is uh, that you could be paying that and all of this stuff is outsourced. So essentially you're just working through a salesperson that is the middleman. And I've you know, been there, right? I ran my own agency where I did all the work and then we started to white label stuff and, and now everything is in house at height at a much different level than what it has been in the past. But I, I know the industry, I know all the different you know, ways around getting to the end result, which is somebody growing their agency. So what I have consistently seen now, when people are paying 1500 bucks a month and more for marketing services, again, not to say that it's a slam dunk, not to say that it's a home run opportunity, but your likelihood of succeeding with a marketing agency when you're paying that much money minimum tremendously goes up versus it tremendously goes down when you're paying less than a thousand dollars a month right and so it's all a part of of what you pay for you are going to get no different than if you're a contractor you're probably watching this video and probably investing into marketing and advertising not because you're the cheapest not because you're fly by night no it's because your quality you've charged your worth and you're looking to get your company information out to more people that can actually afford you and are your ideal clients no different than the same way when it comes to a marketing agency right so you absolutely will get what you pay for when hiring a marketing agency and so just make sure as you're going and you're looking to make that investment some easy red flags some easy things if it's under a thousand dollars a month for seo or multiple services 
you're probably not going to get out of it what you were looking to get. So hope this video was helpful. Feel free to leave comments or if there's other things that you're taking a look at when you're going to hire a marketing agency, would love to know that. Your feedback, et cetera, in the comments. And thank you so much as always for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button. That way we can get this content out to more people just like yourself who are looking to level up in both business and life, especially in the digital marketing side and entrepreneurship as a whole. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.